News has emerged that Airbus has developed a composite wing capable of high-rate production, a revolutionary feature for their upcoming aircraft that's stirring up the aviation industry. Sue Partridge, head of Airbus's ambitious Wing of Tomorrow program, declared that when launched, their aircraft, named the A322, will wipe out all competitors in its class, including the aging Boeing 757. Why can it beat the 757 and dominate the segment? How will it achieve that? Let's find out. When we talk about the Boeing 757, it's hard not to notice the lingering gap in the aviation market, a unique mid-range segment that to this day lacks a true successor. Demand is growing for a new aircraft that sits between long-range widebodies like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A330 and the more common narrow bodies like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 which offer better operating costs. Meanwhile, airlines are reluctantly retiring their aging 757 fleets, aircraft that once formed the backbone of long, thin routes. This withdrawal is full of regret as no aircraft today quite matches the versatility, power, and efficiency the 757 once delivered. This is why Airbus's development of a potential new aircraft called the A322 is drawing significant attention. It's seen as the ideal candidate to fill the void left by the aging 757, which remains an indispensable asset for major carriers like Delta. The 757 continues to be a formidable player on niche long routes that require high payload, range, and performance in challenging airport conditions, capabilities few other aircraft can replicate. Currently, the two main contenders being considered as replacements for this favorite jet are the Airbus A321 XLR and the Boeing 737 MAX 10. Both can carry over 200 passengers in a typical two-class configuration and have significantly extended range, especially the MAX 10, which boasts even greater reach. The A321XLR, an upgraded version of the A321, features new engines, additional fuel tanks, and a redesigned cabin to accommodate more seats. It's Airbus's attempt to fill the 757's gap without building an entirely new fuselage, thereby avoiding additional certification costs and engineering complexities associated with stretching the airframe. But you know that, the XLR still falls short of being a true 757 successor. Despite its impressive range and fuel efficiency, it's limited in its ability to take off from short runways. One of the 757's key advantages, its payload range uh, capability under full load lags behind, as do its engine power, cruising speed, and flexibility in switching between passenger and cargo configurations. Besides, its maximum takeoff weight is also notably lower. The XLR is best suited for efficient medium to long haul routes, but it cannot fully replace the 757's all around performance and operational versatility. That's why when Airbus announced it was developing a brand new aircraft with high speed manufacturable composite wings, an engineering breakthrough under its Wing of Tomorrow program it raised a compelling question. Could the A322 be the long-awaited true successor to the 757 that the aviation world has been hoping for over the past decade? Wait up. Thanks for sticking around until here. Please show your support by hitting like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. To answer that question, we first need to explore what this new aircraft is truly capable of. As Airbus crafts its next strategic move in the fast-paced world of aviation, where standing still means falling behind, the A322 has appeared as a potential extension of its best-selling sibling, the A321, which has recently seen unprecedented commercial success. Currently, the A321 program is a crown jewel in Airbus's portfolio performing exceptionally year after year. The A322 is being seen not just as a continuation of that success, but as something bolder, a plane that could push the envelope further and command even greater attention. The buzz around it escalated in 2021 when Bloomberg hinted that Airbus was contemplating new, more efficient engines for its A320 family. Speculation quickly snowballed, not just about the A320, but even about a possible A350neo emerging sometime in this decade. None of that materialized right away, of course, but the rumors spoke volumes about Airbus's ambition. 
to keep innovating, to keep expanding, and perhaps to deliver the next game-changing aircraft in commercial aviation. First, regarding a revolutionary new composite wing design, one that could be scaled up for mass production if needed, it is called the Wing of Tomorrow. Concept has become a centerpiece of what Airbus calls its new era, a term that sounds as grand as it is intentional. With it, Airbus continues to explore ways to improve efficiency and performance for future aircraft. And Airbus might be right, this new composite wing comes with some eye-catching features. Picture this, a folding wingtip making the aircraft look unlike anything else in the A320 family, almost like a standout prototype from the future. Curiously, it reminds people of the folding wingtips of Boeing's 777X, something never before seen on an Airbus narrow body. Could this new wing take them further than ever before? It's still too early to say, but they aren't alone in this race. Boeing, despite its current challenges, is still pushing forward with its own next-gen wing concept under the TTBW, Transonic Truss Braced Wing, project in partnership with NASA. If successful, Boeing hopes this could be the next big leap in airliner design. Next, visually, this new jet would likely resemble a stretched version of the A321. But is that all there is to it? According to Sash Tusa, an analyst at Agency Partners, this extended A321 variant could accommodate up to four additional rows of seats. With Airbus's typical configuration of 33 seats per row block, that's an increase of about 24 passengers. Currently, the A321 carries around 40 more passengers than the A320, about six extra rows. Adding four more could push the A322's length close to 50 meters, roughly the length of a football field. But could that length be over the top? Okay, let's look at some comparisons. The Boeing 737 MAX 10 is just slightly shorter than the A321. At 43.8 meters, 143 feet, 8 inches. The now discontinued Boeing 757-300, meanwhile stretched an impressive 54.4 meters, 178 feet, 5 inches. Clearly, modern narrow bodies can go much longer if there's a reason to. Even the old Douglas DC-8 once reached 57.1 meters, 187.3 feet, in its longest form, proving this kind of stretch is not without precedent. But that's not all. Integrating next-gen engines might also require redesigning the landing gear, perhaps giving this jet a subtle but crucial boost in its undercarriage to support the added size and weight. This program seems to be a natural evolution of the A321 is, in fact, a calculated move. Airbus is stealthily engineering a formidable contender with one silent mission, to conquer the legacy of the Boeing 757. It might sound like it's just around the corner, but in reality, no one knows for sure if, or when, we'll actually see it. Airbus is known for nurturing bold, sometimes wildly ambitious ideas, pouring years into R&D projects that may never leave the drawing board. The A322 could very well be one of those. But don't be so quick to dismiss these unrealized concepts, because as the past 50 years have shown, many of aviation's greatest breakthroughs were born from the ashes of so-called failures. Details remain undisclosed, but it's highly likely that Airbus is working on something much bigger. Rumors of the A322 gaining four extra rows, possibly to stretch out the business class or simply to add more seats in economy, have only added to the mystique. And while these hints remain unveiled, it still makes the notice to the public. Perhaps they're drawn to the potential of Airbus's new aircraft, or maybe they're simply waiting for something that will truly shake up the aviation world. But what about you? What are you hoping to see from this new aircraft? Let us know your answer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.